mental, that one. I'm telling you. Do you want to move a bit closer? Huh? <sighs> you know, I like it when they walk. I'm in love with her. All right, fine, you're in love with her. Have you ever actually met her? Oh. Can you introduce me? Ron's love story is brilliant and very, very funny and kind of endearing. I'm Hermione Granger. And you are? Um, Ron Weasley. Pleasure. Ron and Hermione's relationship has always been on a delicate balance where they've never quite expressed or worked out in each other's heads how they feel for each other. <laughs> in the beginning films, you sort of sense like a sort of relationship between them two. Which has kind of been bubbling underneath the surface of all the films. <sighs> One person couldn't feel all that. It'd explode. Just because you've got the emotional range of a teaspoon. Ron's not that experienced with girls, and before he knows it, Ron is way over his depth. <laughs> Ron gets this sort of serious relationship with this uh, quite crazy girlfriend. Excuse me, I have to go and vomit. It's his first sort of relationship, really, and she gets a little bit overexcited, and he doesn't feel comfortable with that. At this point, Ron cares a lot about Hermione because they're on the brink of kind of falling in love. All this tension that's been building for the previous seven films, for the previous six and a half books, we've been desperate for the two of them to get together, and they do. They've nearly just died, and in that moment, it's about both of them realizing this is stupid. You know, if. If we're going to die tonight, the, the one thing I actually want to do is, is, is kiss you. So it's quite, it's quite romantic, really. I think it'll be... Oh, thank God, that, like, that finally happened. There's so much anticipation, kind of, with these two. <laughs> so we both wanted to do it right as well, get, get it good for everyone. We just got through it by laughing a lot. <laughs> it was good. He's a nice kisser.